So there's this IRL streamer who decided to stream her experience with cancer live from the hospital whenever she got the chance. But after a decade long battle, she died in mid January. This is that story. Okay, so this is Stephanie. When she was 21, she was diagnosed with chronic myelogenous leukemia, a rare form of cancer that can be difficult to treat. And for years, she was able to treat it with medication and live a relatively normal life. She streamed herself fishing off her dock, hanging out with friends, you know, all the typical stuff that IRL streamers normally do. And once her cancer got worse, she decided to stream her experience from the hospital whenever she could. And after a decade of battling that cancer, she died on January 26th. When and how she found out she had cancer, when she was 21 and she thought she had mono, but it turned out to be CML. But it was very manageable. Like I said, they have, they have really good drugs for it. And the guy in that clip is Alex, Stephanie's fiance who she met at TwitchCon 2018 and began dating shortly after. Alec flew Stephanie from her home in Seattle, Washington to his home in Virginia so that they could spend more time together. Uh, somehow she got out. <laughs> she got out of the tie. Oh. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Look at nice you. You are perfect. You're a perfect little angel. Oh my goodness. You've probably seen some of their clips on Reddit and reading through the comments. Well, it got a lot of different people sharing their own experiences with cancer. And I wanted to talk to Alec about this, about Stephanie, the hospital experience, and how he felt about her sharing such a personal experience on stream. I didn't, I didn't really get to have much time with her, but I was closer to her than I have been to anybody else. Um, before she had met me, I know that she lived in not only physical pain, but you know, despite all that, it's just cliche to say because everyone is special, but she was very special. And as their relationship grew, her health began to decline. And they decided that just because things were getting bad didn't mean that she had to stop streaming her experience whenever an opportunity came up. After spending time together in Virginia, Stephanie had to go home for treatment. So they decided to stream the road trip. It was nearing the time that she needed to get her bone marrow transplant or else it would become much more difficult to, uh, to treat. She stayed with me for about 12 days within that 12 days i was like you know what you gotta go back home we drove together from from virginia beach down to the most southern tip of florida came up uh all the way through louisiana stayed in texas went to went to zion and utah we had this entire journey it was um, one of the best times of my life and i wanted to show her a fun time before all that and even when she started chemo and started treating her cancer more aggressively, she continued streaming. I mean, streaming while going through chemotherapy, that's honestly an incredible thing to do. And while all of this was happening, her fans followed along online in support. Big personalities like Mizkiff and Pokimane shared the situation on their stream and even donated money to help with medical costs. Like, I mean, Mizkiff donated two grand. Oh my God, he just donated $2,000. What? What? Yeah. I think that's what it was. Holy shit. Holy shit. Thank you so much. What the... F Dude. Now Alex not gonna stream for another month. No, that's not true. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Damn it. Now we're gonna have to send him a soda pop and stand. Yeah. <laughs> Now, during our interview, I asked Alec about the impact that Stephanie had on his life. I used to be a terrible, you know, I had, I had fun, but I was headed down a dark path. But I knew that if I was going to impress this girl and she was going to be part of my life, I had to kind of sober up and clean up and she, she helped me do that. You know, she, she kind of gave me a direction too. And even when times were really hard and I was down, she would she would push me to to stream because she wanted to see me succeed. And after Stephanie checked into the hospital, Alec asked her to marry him. And when he did pop the question, it was live on Twitch in front of hundreds of people cheering them on. I want to know <laughs> if you would marry me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> He's doing it on stream. Yeah. Yeah. 
so we can get it sized or whatever, but I love you and this is a sign of my commitment and appreciation. Things seemed stable for a while, and the duo were able to celebrate Christmas together. But by early January, the situation took an unexpected turn for the worse. And on January 26, 2020, Stephanie died. And support poured in from all over social media. And when Alec was driving back home from the hospital, back to Virginia, he found a letter from Stephanie. She left a note in my car I, I just found, and I'm gonna read it to you. It says, to my favorite fatty of all time. I love you so much and I am so happy you are a part of my life. Hopefully you will find this randomly and it will put a smile on your face. You're a candy girl, Steph. Now, obviously this is an incredibly sad story, but the most interesting aspect of it is that she chose to live stream this on Twitch. And as for Alec, well, he's just trying to establish a new normal. The thing that's helped me the most is to stay busy, you know, like washing laundry, doing a garden in the backyard, uh, streaming. I have friends come over and I like to cook food and cook dinner for them. And at the end of our interview, I wanted to give Alec the opportunity to talk about Stephanie, to express whatever's on his mind and to really just share some memories. I know that she would want me to continue streaming. She would want to see me successful. and. Uh, and to be and to make people smile, I'm gonna I'm gonna honor her with as I continue. I I wear uh, her ring with my necklace. I even brought her little urn to show you. Yeah. Keep right by my bed, and um, I just I just want to continue giving hope and in uh, sharing her story. Like, I'll never stop talking about it, you know? Yeah, of but, course. Uh, I, I, I'm very thankful for this. Thing.